Welcome uh, to Captain Taking Morgan's Hall Games, and today is my Q&A. Uh, got a few, about half a dozen questions, uh, so we'll, we'll crack straight on. First one is from Tabletop Tom. He says, great channel, how did you first get into warming, wargaming 40k? And what advice would you give people starting out? Great question, and thanks for it, Tom. Uh, well, mine came from my uh, RE teacher, uh, Jerry Oldfield. He, rest in peace, made a great teacher. Uh, he used to take those all on the borderline of being, it could go in trouble uh, either way. He used to take them in and he used to run gaming sessions in these. Uh, classroom at lunch times and break times. Uh, I used to play po uh, poker dice in there, billiards and D&D. &D. I started off in D&D &D, and me and the group that played D&D &D predominantly uh, then went into fantasy and then into, then into uh, 40k. This was, I did a bit of Napoleonic as well in between. Uh, I probably started D&D in what, I started senior school in 82, so I probably, just after, probably early 83, maybe a bit later, but time in a little bit, but I was, I was one of the bad boys, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I, 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 I ended up being under Jerry's wing, and, he taught me 40k and, well, he taught me D&D. Uh, &D. He, he also helped, helped us get started into fantasy, you know, provided tables and bits and pieces uh, so we could play, which is cool. The guy, guy was a legend. Right, next question. What updated miniatures would you like to see next? Now, now, you know, Necrons have had a huge overall, and that's from Nick Smith of Average, Old Average Brick Great Gaming. Brilliant question, Nick. Uh, for me, this is easy. Being an Eldar player, uh, Aspects, I'd like Swooping Hawks, I'd like Shining Spears, Dark Reapers, all them to be plastic. Uh, uh, and have no sculpts. Uh, 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 there are plenty of other ranges and factions that probably could do with it as well, but as it's predominantly uh, they're, they're, they're the ones that would interest me most, I think. Next question from Justin of Basic Miniature Painting. Very cool question. What was your wife's reaction when you first told her you were into warm gaming? Now, you have to know my wife, so you and what she's like. Uh, her first reaction was when you need a chair to stand on to reach a table, and aren't you afraid that you might get mistaken for one of the models? Yeah, so yeah, it sort of tells you what uh, sort of. <laughs> person she is. Uh, I mean she's five foot eight or uh, five foot uh, and a bit higher in her uh, when she's got her heels on and I'm only five foot six so and I hate going around garden centres were always the same it's she looks out out my garden though just just to point out my family as she says but yeah, that was her reaction. Uh, modeling for advantage, it says it's always good to try new things. Miniature Paintbrush asks, do you think that the smaller 40k games in the new edition will eliminate Kill Team? Very good question. Uh, I don't actually, I think it, I think Kill Team will still go strong. Uh, I think that 
crew saving kill team are two different things and allow players to to do two different things on, on the board I, I still expect kill team to keep going strong at least for the foreseeable future anyway maybe later down the line but that will depend on sales and bits and pieces won't it from uh, and it'll be a uh, it'll be a financial decision from games workshop rather than anything else that le leads to that to happen next one was from dave williamson uh what was my ideal loadout for death dread and uh what he he thinks scorcher and cl uh, claws uh especially with the new blast weapons. I'd probably agree. I mean, there are other shit loads out and they could be useful, but the uh, Scorchers will deal with hordes quite close up and the claws, even though I like the swords, the claws are slightly better on him. So that's how I'd do it, Scorchers and, and claws. And I'd probably run two or three if I was going to run them at all. Next question, Aaron Atkinson. Thank you for the question, Aaron. I'd certainly like to hear your thoughts on ch changes made in the ninth edition, particularly how you think your walk list will change now that multiple battalions cost CP rather than a war neck. Do you think we will see more varied dynamic lists instead? Yeah, I, I think the lists might be, you might get more variations on lists. Uh, I like what I've seen from the uh, GW of T's so far, and it's very promising. Yeah, there are a few things that I'd probably have issue with, but uh, but they're, they're not. They're not. I don't. I'm not sure how you would improve upon what they've done. Uh, so you just get on with it. Uh, multiple battalions, possibly. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'd ever run a triple battalion anymore. But I might just just to see how it works. It would leave me short on CP. But then again, the way I'd be running that that triple battalion, probably I wouldn't need that much CP. So I could probably get away with it during the game. So. If I'm honest, the York list will probably, I might get more grots and I might get a couple of tanks and I might get a few flyers. But that will depend on what what the missions are, what 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 I think I'm going to face, uh, uh, and what optimizes my build, what, what and how I can get all those all my toys in in the, in the uh, factions, uh, cultures, or subcultures, etc. I want to play with. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, I I am loving the missions, so they're, they're probably I I think the team who's, who's who's done that has been brilliant on the on them from what I've seen. Um, it'll make. It's easier for those casual players who, who want the games to sit and play a tournament and see. It'll make it, especially on the ITC, ITC, it'll make it so much easier for them to go and play those types of missions now uh, because they'll be playing it all the time. Whereas a European player, I, most of the tournaments I used to go to were... 
chapter approved or ETC or or uh, Eternal War or Maelstrom. So you're you're used to playing that that way or that, that style. And when I played my first ITC, it was quite a eye opener, and it, it, it requires another uh, set of skills within that. But I think these missions, as, as I've written, uh, will will help players acquire those skill sets and improve gameplay. Will it balance a game out? Who knows? I mean, it, it's a D6 game, so how balanced can it be? Because if you're if you can chuck enough dice at a problem, you can make it go away with a d6. But that's, I think, yeah, that's pretty obvious to anyone who's been playing for a while. Uh, thank you. And next, I've got a guy called Roman. I'm going to give him a quick shout out. He he he's a gamer. He plays Fortnite. Uh, he plays Gears of War, all sorts on. Decent guy. Uh, so, if you're into your, your Xbox and your PlayStation and you like like walkthroughs and uh, and bits and pieces, go and check him out. Thank you for watching, and remember. Thank you for watching. If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button. Press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.